I've been actually training since I was about 23 years, uh, 23 years old. I'm, I'm 43 Next, not next week, the week after. Don't look it though. No, well, don't you know, look it. It's a cocoa butter, bro. It's a cocoa, cocoa butter. butter. <laughs> it's a cocoa butter. Bro. The black don't crack as it is. Yeah, no cracks right here, bro. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been, I've been training since I was 23. Um, I didn't have like the traditional way of getting his training since, since myself, right. Um, I'm going to start training for now. Um, to cut like the story short, like I actually got attacked. Like I got stabbed when I was uh, about 19 years old. Yeah. Um, made me a bit of a recluse. I didn't really go out too much. I just you know what, what I mean. You say you got stabbed. I mean, like, was it this a, a random attack or was it just um, was this something that you, you may know the attacker? I mean, what what kind of I mean, go back to where? I mean, the reason why I'm, the reason I'm saying that sort of cut yeah is because yeah. I don't want to make no assumptions. I mean, was you living that life? Was you or was you was you just a random person on the road and somebody attacked you? You know well, what I mean? I'll tell you where it all started from. It's like basically. Growing up in the area which I grew up, it was like a predominantly white area. Yeah. And so like I've gone through like a lot of racism and this and that and the other. So I think like when you when you're like at a young age, you're always trying to find yourself. So you always look at the people who seemingly are getting places. So when I was young, I could see people, yeah. big jewelry and cars. So I was like, yeah, I like those kind of people. I'm not. Re- I was never really about like that. What you, what you call that life. I actually, yeah. I actually went to, my uncle was, my uncle actually had like jewelry shops and he sold, okay. he sold jewelry. So okay, yeah. I, I went to work with him. Every, every, <laughs> so you grafted and got, yeah, the, got grafted, the jewelry off uncle. Yeah, man, I grafted every single, I grafted every like single weekend on Sunday markets and like to, you know, like to, to get, like to get the jewelry what I was getting. But like, I think, I just wanted more and more just because I was thinking to myself, well, if I look a certain way, people will give me more respect. Ah. Um, so, okay, is this that, does this come back from the whole, when you talked about the racism, I yeah. mean, was it gaining respect from the peers around you? I, mean, I like- think it was that because like I, I went through such, I went through this, this, this thing where it was like living in a, living like in a predominantly white area. Mm. So like dealing with racism every day. What kind of, give me an example. I mean, cause there's different, there's different levels of racism like, in it. Like, I say racism, like I say, like, obviously remember like I'm, I'm 43 years old. So yeah. when I, I've been dealing with racism serious race from from the age of about say seven i can remember Shit. like kids in school telling me they're gonna their parents are gonna mark an x and get you like out Shit. that kind of stuff i was right. dealing with like from from that age yeah um so you know it's like you i think it's like i think i'm just trying to find like an i find your identity mm. yeah. so i dealt with that so then i think Obviously, if you fast fast forward like through like the other bits of, like racing, which I dealt with there, I started like being around like more people who look like me, which mm. I thought to myself, well, this is going to work out a lot better. Yeah, you've been around like a lot of white people giving you like a lot of like abuse and whatever. So yeah. if you if you're around more black people, everything's going to be like even be more blessed. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, makes sense. It, yeah, it'd yeah. be cool. But like even that had its problems because like they said to me it was like, well, boy, you, you sound like a white man. Oh, so, <laughs> so you're getting it from both so, ends. So I'm getting it from both. So I'm getting it from both ends. So, but I think back then, it's like um, it's only when I when I think back, I used to stick out like a Christmas tree. I was covered in like big chopped bracelets and yeah. rings and whatever. So like that's how I used to go to college. Oh shit! Yeah, I'd go to <laughs> I'd go Is to it? college like, covered in covered in jewelry and whatever. So so what, what? Okay, so what do you think that attracted a lot of attention to yourself? I think I, I think I attracted the wrong attention yeah. to myself. Yeah, and because like what I wasn't really watching was like the guys or the people who had like the big rings and chains or whatever. They had something about them, and like they yeah. were about that life. I was just like a a guy from like a s- small council estate. Yeah. Um. I didn't really know how to speak to people. I didn't really like know myself as such. I just thought yeah. the, it was all perception. Okay. Perception based. So I think to myself, if, if I get the look right, everything else should fall into place. But um, I think sometimes when you stick out like a sore thumb amongst all your friends, you're going to be the notable one for, and probably for the wrong reasons. Yeah. So I, it was like one night I'd gone out and I actually wasn't wearing all my jewelry. I think it was the days like when we used to like wear big oversized coats. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like big, a South Pole coats. Yeah. 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 So I'd, yeah. I'd gone out the one night and like we'd, we'd gone to like a, uh, gone to a party and on that night, probably on that night, uh, one of my one of my uh, friends that was an uh, Asian guy, like had his chain stolen from him, he got it ripped from around his neck. Okay, and we got it back for him, and like we was there, they were saying, right, listen, you guys get out of here, school, go home, and do whatever you're gonna do. So 
I was actually just walk, I just walked out there quite innocently, thinking, "Well, I'm in the ma- I'm in the ma- um, majority, so I'm yeah. fine." Yeah, yeah. Um, but lo and behold, like these guys came out because like they wanted their chain back. What they took off this guy, ran past them. But there was some guys who I recognised from college who, kind of, let's just say that they set me up because like, okay, because I think if th- those guys like who came to me, they would never have known. What yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. That's how a lot of things work, and it people talk, and and then yeah, you can easily easy become a target in it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So when that see like that happened, that was like a big thing for me because like I was just like used to like living in an area where people just put the fist up and fought. Yeah, and that was it. But like I say, it was like a, a real shock. Um, it was a big shock to my system and shock to the people around me as well to know that like something can happen to that in like something can happen like that in such a small town. Yeah. Like, cause, like Dudley and like Bride Hill is a place where everyone's related, everyone knows each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when um, when something like this happens, it's like, wow, I only, only see, I see things like this on TV. Yeah. So when it happens it's to me, thing. yeah, when it happened to me now, like it kind of, I kind of shut down. So they have a reaction for it. Was it, so it wasn't a fake, obviously it's not fatal because you're here, but I mean like it wasn't, it was just like, where did you get stabbed? Yeah, on, on the inside of, so was, on the inside of my leg. So was it a scruff, a scruff or was it a few people coming for you? One well, person? Well, like, what it was, uh, the, I, I just, I, I'll never, I'll never forget the day, like the, like the, the guys like who come to me, I was quite small then. Yeah, yeah. Because like I, I didn't like get this height until like yeah. some years later, but I was quite, I was still quite small then, but the guy was like, oh, let me come and look, let me take a look at your rings. And I'm thinking, how does he know that I've got rings on? Uh, um, and like I saw the people who's with, pulled out this knife which is like kind of never ending and oh like, it was kind of a tussle backward and forward and like they kind of held me down the little bits the, the, the few little rings that I had on so I didn't wear all my jewelry that yeah, day yeah 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 um, I remember having like a, a sovereign ring a, 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 yeah no sovereigns so, man yeah. people still wear them things I still see, yeah, I still see you <laughs> you still got one in the back pocket yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a big had a big dirty square sovereign yeah and, and I remember like um, that was the last what last piece of jewelry which I bought? Mm. Like I'd saved up like for a long time for it. I remember hiding it in my mouth, and like these guys were jumping on me, and like there's boots yeah. and kicks. And I just felt something sharp on the inside of my leg. They took my wallet, yeah. took my wallet from me, took my money from me, prized my rings off, and then I like, just on their toes and just, like, yeah. kind of just left me there. I was like kind of like unconscious. Yeah. Um, I, I just remember like coming around and like blue lights, ambulance there, like a few, yeah. a few people I know were there and then just heading off to the hospital. It's completely kind of shook. Yeah, yeah. Shook yeah. Up, well, I can't imagine, but yeah, it's, that's going to be frightening, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. We see, it, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't a nice experience. It wasn't a nice experience at all. But I think like now looking back, it kind of shaped obviously where I am now. Yeah. So... So, so like I'm, I'm at this, I'm at this point where I don't, I don't really see anything as anything that's bad happening. It's just a lesson learned. Yeah, yeah. So, what? How did that affect you, or did it affect you um, mentally? It, it, it affected. What did it do to you? Like, it affected me where um, I didn't know who to trust. 